family. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? The on this Thursday, the 28th of January, and it's about 7.49 in the a.m. So, first, before we get started, you already know that Maybelline and them is in here, and we got to go head on and we need to clear this room and let them know. Let me give you a little, you know, a synopsis of what we're going to be discussing on today. So, just in case... If Snyder and all of them decided they want to stay, then therefore they have that option to do so. Okay. Now, I am doing this video for none other than Miss Amber Rose. And if this is not your thing, I'm going to ask that you exit stage right. We are going to the window and to the wall on this morning, family. Um, we're getting ready to talk about the history of some things and we're going to bring it on down, you know what I'm saying, to some current shit and... You know, we're getting ready to just, you know, this is some girl talk. I'm finna, you know what I'm saying, knee to knee with Miss Amber, okay? And if this is not your thing, or you don't know what I, you know, how I do business, well, for those of you guys that just came in here to come and check me out today, that's cool. How you do? How y'all doing? Shit. What's going on, nigga? You better go and put one in the air and go and kick it with your pilot women. Hold up. Did I just spit? You see it? I mean, I'm juicy. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep the party rolling. I done spitting that thing. You seen that shit? It's no problem. That's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? That lets you know I'm still moist. Huh? I'm still moist, baby. I'm 44 years old. All my shit still work. Motherfucking period just went off a couple of days ago. Had that nigga thought he was on a punishment. Don't fuck with it, okay? If this ain't your thing on the day, okay? One more again. If this ain't your thing on today, I'm going to ask that you get out of this motherfucker with Lottie. What? Lottie, come get these motherfuckers. Come get them. Come get them, Dorothy. Y'all come get these motherfuckers. They ain't ready. Peggy, if you don't come get these motherfuckers, they not ready. The usher board come in and they come in and escort all these motherfuckers on out the door. Ernest, baby, you ain't got to be in here. I know you mad. I know you really want to see. But, baby, look, check this out. I'm on one. Listen. I'm on one. You might not want to do it, okay? It's up to you, but you, I don't know. Is you ready for it? All right, then, nigga, go on and come on in, nigga. Shit, fuck it. You might like what you, you might learn some shit. You know what I'm saying? I might put you on a remix of some new shit. Go on and say I'm partner. Shit, he wanted to stay anyway, you know what I'm saying? Juicy got him crazy, you know? Anyway, <clears throat> but, uh, <sighs> Amber, listen, <clears throat> mama. First of all, let me start off by saying, look, I think you are a very beautiful lady. Um, I really don't know how old you are, but I know in the land of the law, it don't matter. One thing about being in Los Angeles and being in that mecca of all of that, um, they don't give a fuck about how old you are, nor do they really care about how much you weigh. It's really about what you look like. And how everything is fitting and working on you. They don't give a fuck about all that other shit, okay? This motherfucker's still getting Oscars in their 60s. This motherfucker's still getting on. That's one thing about in acting, uh, acting, there's no, there's no age on that. But if you still trying to be out here on some Kendrick, uh, nigga, there is an age limit on some of that motherfucker shit. Because some of y'all niggas be 43 and still be, nigga, I got beats for days, nigga. If you don't sit down... Nigga, if you don't sit down, you know what I'm saying? That's... No, nigga, no. That's all I'm going to say on that. No, nigga, no. Okay? So, but, um, yeah, girl, anyway. Um, I really like you and, you know, I don't, really ain't got no bad shit to say. Because I know that's like a prelude to a motherfucker really finna let you have it. Be like, girl, now, you know, uh, you know we've been friends for a long time and... You know, girl, we done went through a whole bunch of... Remember we was on WIC together, bitch? Yeah, I remember. Um, you know, but I just want to let you know that Clyde, that nigga ate my pussy in the back of your motherfucking ride after he dropped you off at work. See, he had to pick his homeboy up first, and his homeboy was up in the front seat, and after he dropped him off, since I was already in the back, you know what I'm saying, I just went on and uh, put one of them motherfuckers on up and uh, just let that nigga handle it. You know, I just wanted to let you know that, girl. But I, I love you, and we still girls. Yeah, I'm not going to do none of that shit, uh, Amber, okay? It ain't going to be none of that, okay? What it is going to be, though, it's going to be some cool knee-to-knee. -knee. <clears throat> and 
And, um, you know, I'm just going to put you up on some things and kind of, you know, steer your steer you a certain way in your journey. Now, your journey is yours to have. Okay, and uh, throughout this journey, you're going to have little pebbles in the path of your progress. But the thing is, though, you have to know how to navigate through these motherfuckers to make it to where you, when you get my age, I'm 44 years old, girl. Believe it or not, I am 44 motherfucking years old. I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? I done had three motherfucking babies. My son, 19. My youngest is 14. Holla. Varsity, what? Defensive line, quit playing, you know what I'm saying? My daughter is 16. She got her little package coming in, you know what I'm saying? Looking like her mama a little bit, you know what I mean? And so, hey, I got all my own shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't owe no motherfucking body nothing. I sleep real good at night, you know what I mean? It's just me plus three. I got me a badass ride, and you know what I'm saying? And I'm cool, you know what I mean? So I'm not trying to... Coming here to, you know what I'm saying, trying to get on your rah-rah team or trying to get on or, you know, this bitch right here going to make me famous. I've already, I'm cool. You know, I done done some things and I'm been there and done, done that on a whole bunch of things. And baby, my life is full. I'm not trying to do anything but just on some girls talk with a lot of my girls all over this motherfucking continent. All over this motherfucking world. All over this motherfucking nation. All over the city and county. You know what I mean? All back up in the Kettle Parish and all that old type of motherfucking shit. I'm trying to highlight the pork and bean motherfuckers and the niggas from the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to do. That's it and that's all. Even the backwoods niggas, holla, you know what I'm saying? What's up on that deer meat? What's on that coon? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just one of them. That's it. That's it. That's all. I don't need you to send me no care packages. I don't need you to send for a bitch or nothing like that. None of that kind of shit, mama. I'm just trying to school you on some motherfucking game to where while you in your journey and you continue on your path, you kind of think and make some right decisions on your life. Because at the thing, at the bottom line is, look, let me tell you something, Amber. See, because you've been part of the turn up crew. You know what I mean? And that's cool. You've been a turn up girl. And in the beginning, you know, when, when, when we didn't hear you speak and that's all we saw was this exotic thing. And we was like, what the fuck? Who is this? Is she white? Is she black? Is she, you know what I'm saying? Is she light skinned? What's happening with all this right here? You was with Kanye. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was Meek Molly Mello. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you just was this bald headed this right here. I'm like, damn, she rocking a little Jada in a but what, what is she, though? You know what I mean? You had this exotic thing going on. Nose and shit was perfect. You know what I'm saying? Little cleave and all that old type. Didn't have that ass yet. But you know, you know what I'm saying? You had this all little cleavage and all this old type of shit here. Jumping out of motherfucking Bentleys and shit with body suits and shit. You know what I'm saying? We was like, damn. Nigga, this is a bald-headed cocoa in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? So we was tripping. But you never really spoke. And it wasn't until you cut that nigga loose to where you begin to have a voice. And you know what, low key? Let me tell you something, Amber. Low key though, I think that's how that nigga got thrown off. Really though, really. Because before he broke up with you, and that's Kanye, and I ain't got him, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't have no, you know, because that motherfucker goes all in. I see he was all on your husband and shit, threw you in on some shit yesterday. And that, that's what kind of speared this combo today. This knee to knee between you and I, because let them niggas do them niggas. But see, I wanted to dissect and get your mind right on why this nigga acting the way he acting right now. See, let me tell you something, Amber. Men don't love as often and as easy as we do. Because we're soft, we're fluffy, we're mushy, we juicy, you know what I'm saying? That's us. But they love just as hard. But the thing is, they don't know how to handle those type of emotions. They don't know how to place those things. They don't know how to, you know, wear it on their sleeve. When them motherfuckers is mad, them motherfuckers is mad. And them niggas, you know, they will burn your ass up. Fuck the dumb shit, bitch. I'm about to whoop your ass and all this 91 right here in this motherfucking red can, bitch. I'm finna pour all this. Because, see, when, when, when they do something, then when them motherfuckers snap, oh, my God, it's all bad. They want to, turn, you know, basically, you know, Throw some gasoline on you or some acid or something. You know, they really, they anger. When them motherfuckers is mad, them motherfuckers be mad, okay? And I really sensed that yesterday 
when Kanye just threw you in on what he had going on with your motherfucking husband. I'm like, nigga, if you don't knock it off, don't you got a baby and shit to rock to sleep, motherfucker? I mean, nigga, really? I mean, I understand your shit about to come out. I got it. Baddest, baddest motherfucking breaker coming out in the land. All this old Kendrick Lamar and all that. I got you, nigga. I, Kanye, I got you. But right now, though, nigga, you acting like motherfucker from Hey Now and Then. What's his name? Andre 3000. See, that let you know right then and there. The woman that they was fucking with had some bomb ass motherfucking pussy. Because them niggas lose it after that. You ain't seen that nigga since Hey Y'all. Have y'all seen that motherfucker? That nigga came out with all kind of leprechaun suits and shit on. Look, <clears throat> Erica, baby, they ain't ready for the pussy that you hold down, mama. See, you you on some yoni egg type shit. I, I, I ain't mad at you neither because I, I could need a knee with Erica Badu all day long any motherfucking way because I'm cut from that same motherfucking cough. I'm on all that old type of shit. Nigga, I got an amethyst in my motherfucking what you call it right now, nickel. You know what I'm saying? I got some opals and all that old type of motherfuckers. Citrines and all them motherfuckers. You understand me? They gotta sprinkle some sauce on your motherfucking ass. nigga. fuck the shit out you, nigga. You be, look, look, nigga, hey, you better make it easy on your motherfucking self, nigga. That's one thing about Erica Badu. Them niggas is, all them niggas is watching and all that shit. When that bitch got naked on that motherfucking video, niggas was stuck and fucked up ever since, ain't they? But shit, it, all, it comes with term and conditions with that motherfucking pussy right there. Because she, after she got through fucking coming and all them niggas shit, them niggas got the biting at the wind, was fucked up after that. Them niggas was like, shit, them niggas know what the fuck they was. What, huh? That nigga was walking around here like he was Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory like a mother. That motherfucker had all kind of crazy ass suits, beard and shit all fucked up. That nigga was fucked up, Andre. What happened, nigga? Nigga, if you don't bounce back, nigga, come get this motherfucking money. If you don't bounce back, nigga, come get this motherfucking money. Nigga, we ain't seen your ass in a long motherfucking time. We ain't seen the yin yang twins either. Where y'all motherfuckers at? You know what I'm saying? When niggas get some bomb ass motherfucking pussy, them niggas just go off the map. They just be fucked up. You know, but see, Kanye couldn't do that because he's Kanye. So, to make up for the loss and the deficit, because see, you fucked that nigga up. Period, Amber. You fucked that nigga up. And what's so cold about it? You fucked that nigga up so tough. All these little trinkle niggas that came through after that. Old boy that was with Sierra, the motherfucker, the motherfucking nose looked like a motherfucking Chevron. That motherfucker looked like a V. That motherfucking nose is like that. Who is that nigga? I don't know, with the dreadlocks and shit. The nigga probably got a big ass dick. He look like it. You know what I'm saying? His motherfucking nose like this was fucking with Sierra. I can't think of that nigga name to save my life. But I don't know. Particularly looking ass nigga. Well, look at that nigga. Anyway. But he look like he got a big dick though. Real shit. Square business. That nigga look like he hung like a motherfucker. Like, God damn, nigga. Donkey Kong, nigga. Yeah. One of them. But anyway. um, Back on Kanye. And reason why this nigga acting the way he acting, fuck all that other shit, nigga. That's all, you know what I'm saying, animaniac type of impromptu shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm high, bitch high. Hey, I took my medication. Got my card in my purse, but I took my I took my medication and shit. I'm just telling you the truth. You know what I mean? You know, we out here in Cali. This some regular shit for us. You know, um, I work from home, so then therefore if I take to happen decide to take my motherfucking medication, bitch, this is what it is. I'm in, you know what I'm saying? I'm in my place of business. You know what I mean? And uh, I just so happy to cut the motherfucking camera on. You know what I mean? And just like y'all motherfuckers, I done took that Vicodin. You know what I'm saying? It's same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Anyway, <clears throat> but let me get back on course, though. You hurt that nigga so motherfucking bad, he couldn't do nothing but go to the top. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce was already doing what she was doing with Jay. You know what I'm saying? So he couldn't fuck with that. So who the best, who else can I really fuck with that all got all these niggas mesmerized? The whereas, you know what? Fuck that shit. I can't just get me with no, just no any old motherfucking body. I can't get me no Karuchi or, you know, I can't get me one of these... You know, Kareem and all these. I can't get me one of them. I got to get me a motherfucker that got all these niggas mesmerized. Because, see, I got to come back on a rebound on this bitch right here that's going to fuck you up. You know, that was his whole motherfucking plan. And that's how he went with Kim. Who else? You know, Kim was most desired. But contrary to a lot of motherfuckers want to, oh, fuck Kim, fuck Kim. Kim is a bad motherfucker and I ain't mad at Kim. You know what I'm saying? I am not. Bitch, if you don't get your motherfucking money, you understand what I'm saying? That's what got a lot of these black women mad on some real shit. Bitch, 
That is why these bitches is mad. Because y'all is not sisters. You know what I mean? I'm talking about sisters as far as sisters. You know what I mean? You're a sister to me because I don't look at it with no color. You know what I'm saying? If we down and we can break bread and we can put one up, nigga, you my sister like but bitch, if you don't domino motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause see, see, I'm one of them. You know, I'm one of them motherfuckers you call up, we getting ready to play some space and talk some shit tonight. Yeah. Y'all, all y'all motherfuckers congregating around the Margaritaville and y'all making drinks and shit, but uh, get, get this bitch a lighter. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm going to get mine on at. You know? I'm one of them. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm just a cool motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just one of them, girl. I'm just in the head space right now. You know what I mean? Let your girl have that shit. Can you have, let me have, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? I know some motherfuckers is like, damn, what's wrong with this bitch today? Bitch is just on what she on. You know what I mean? And I want to come on and talk to Amber about this nigga that she hurt so badly. Because that motherfucker right there, girl. Well, I was like, for real? And this nigga is on Twitter or whatever the fuck he was on. And you know here in Cali, you know, this TMZ shit come on all day. That shit, if they don't come on every hour, it come on every other motherfucking hour. TMZ, TMZ Live, TMZ. Now they got uh, South of Wilshire and all this whole type of shit. All this shit come on all motherfucking day. I ain't mad at Harvey and them, you know? So it's like, y'all shit, uh, now probably in New Jersey, y'all motherfuckers ain't seeing what we see on TV, but, you know, this is the entertainment mecca. So this is what's happening. This is what goes down all day. So I was like, you know what? Oh my God. Girl, you hurt him. And he had no choice but to fuck with a Kim. You know, Kardashian that is. The, one of the coldest bitches in the, in the game. And, and black women really get mad at that because um, black women feel like, well, hell, nigga, we've been giving up pussy for barbecues and shit, and these motherfuckers done came out. God damn. These niggas got athletes, and these motherfuckers got all kind of niggas. How come we, why I gotta get this nigga right here that's still trying to sell their dime bags of weed and shit? I don't want the weed selling nigga no more. See, the shit, see, the thing is, back in the 80s, that was the shit that had you a drug dealer. You know what I mean? Oh, I got a girl. I got me a dope boy. You know what I mean? And all that old type of shit. And back then, it was cool. Motherfuckers was buying them Nissan trucks, having them motherfuckers lowered. You know what I mean? That was in that era. You know what I'm saying? That was them Compton girls. I was one of them motherfuckers, you know? And it was back in that day, it was okay. But now to have you a nigga that's out here serving, nigga, that shit is played out. This nigga, so, nigga, you serving bowls, nigga? If you don't knock it, is they still doing that? And see, but there's a lot of women that still, but see, them niggas just graduated now. They selling DVDs and CDs and shit now. But, you know, I don't know if they really taking chances on selling, you know, crack and shit like they used to back in the day. These niggas is now, they, you know, nah, nigga, you, you want something else? Nigga, I got an ecstasy pill, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nigga, I understand you on this Denzel movie and shit, but nigga, uh, let me tell you something. If you need something else to go with this motherfucker, nigga, I got you. You know what I'm saying? It's a front now. Nigga, I got these DVDs. They're going to be three for ten. But if you need something to go with this, nigga, I got this right here, though. What's happening? But, you know, they only let that out on certain motherfuckers. They ain't telling everybody about that shit because, see, they don't know who they selling to. You know what I mean? That's some shit they're going to pull out their ass in a minute. You know what I mean? So, you know, whole nother video. Whole nother video, Amber. But. Girl, you hurt that motherfucker real bad, and that nigga still having side effects, okay? So all I'm going to say to you is don't comment to that nigga. Don't comment. Don't say nothing else. I, I heard your little comment. I done already seen it and all that. Well, I didn't see it, but I heard about it. I already knew you threw that shit out there about that nigga ass and shit. I got you on that, on that shit because, you know, you was like, nigga, get up off me. You know what I'm saying? Get up off me. This between you and my motherfucking husband. Wait a minute. Hold on. Where's my goddamn coffee and shit? Hold on, Amber. Shit. I'm bullshitting. I'm leaving my motherfucking coffee and shit. Wait a minute. Hold on now. Shit, I need something to kind of act some of this shit in. I got going on. Shit, I forgot I done made me a cup of coffee. But yeah, this between you and my motherfucking husband and shit, nigga. But yeah, still all of a sudden now, nigga, you want to throw me in? What the wait a minute? Hold on. What this got to do with me? I got you on that. But see, he was just waiting on some form of outlet to throw you in any motherfucking way. He been wanting to say that shit, mama. He be, If you notice, when Kanye get mad, that motherfucker want to come in and throw you in. Bitch, I'm over here doing this right here. What is you talking about, Kanye? Because he mad, girl. You put that, girl, you pop that pussy on that motherfucker. I ain't mad at you, shit. What you do to that motherfucker? Tell everybody, shit. Some of these bitches really need to know, you know what I mean? Because some motherfuckers ain't doing it right. 
I'm just saying. You need to come out and let these motherfuckers know. But see, you know what? You can't really come out with no book or nothing like that because it's just who you are. You know, some of us just got that. And whatever that is, it's just an aura. It's just something that you just have. And other women recognize it in you. And right off the top, I can't stand that bitch. I don't give a fuck about what that bitch come out with, what that bitch do, what that bitch... I'm going to look, though, but I don't give a fuck about nothing that bitch got going on. Fuck that motherfucker. Did you see that outfit of the day, though, bitch? Yeah, that bitch do got some ass and some titties. That, that, that was money well spit on that motherfucker. Yeah, one of them. Hold on, let me holler at this motherfucking coffee. Mm -hmm. Shit cold as a motherfucking nigga. What is this, iced coffee? Fuck my shit up. I'm supposed to been drinking that shit, Amber. I done fucked my coffee up. That's fucked up, nigga. I got, I got uh, vanilla caramel and all that shit, and I fucked my coffee up. Had it over there. Fuck my coffee up. Now it's cold. I can't drink it like that. You know what I'm saying? I need the shit hot. Well, just about, about to scorch my tongue and shit. That shit. You know what I'm saying? When it's hot. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, mama, let me get on back to the business. Because I know I'm diverted and all that kind of shit. But now that done brought, brought a bitch down a little bit. Because at first, nigga was on Pluto like a motherfucker. I was like, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bitch, stay on course. Yeah, bitch was on Pluto. But now that I'm coming down, I'm starting to come down and shit and starting to see the motherfucking atmosphere and all that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, anyway, but, uh, girl, this is what you need to do from this point forward, okay? We done talked about all that other shit because, see, what you need to know, this is some old shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitch has been having that it factor for a long fucking time. But the thing is, it's what you do when you're in it. To where you'll be able to enjoy it the rest of your motherfucking life. Okay? Now, you done had a little pussy party. You done been with this nigga, that nigga, that nigga, this one. Hey, whatever is clever. Especially when you don't have no babies. But now that you have a son, mama, you don't want to just be out there on some Fockville type shit. You understand me? You don't want to be out there just fucking this one, this one, this one, this one. I understand you marketable. You set your shit up that way. You put your money where you need it to. Make your shit marketable. I understand. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, but however though, you have to understand that when you really meet somebody that you really, really, really want to be with, is all of this right here going to be conducive to where he's trying to go in life? You understand what I'm saying? There's going to be a time when you're going to have to start shutting some of that motherfucking shit down. You know? You're going to have to start shutting some of that shit down and start coming into a fact that, you know what? I'm growing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can have a little cleavage, a little, little something going on. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, let me cover some, you know, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let that nigga know that, uh, nigga, this will do all that. But, you know, just kind of, you know what I mean? Wear your shit to where they can look at that motherfucker and tell from down the street. Okay, nigga, the, the, the rest of it. Yeah. It's cool to do all that. But. All this hopping from nigga to nigga to nigga. Not saying that you're doing that. But calm down on all that motherfucking shit. L allow your motherfucking money to put you in a place that will be able to sustain you and your son for the duration of your life. Fuck moving in these mansions and shit because let me tell you something. Okay? It's motherfuckers and done this shit before you did this shit. Okay? Kareem, Stefan, and all them motherfuckers. It comes in waves. If you guys really look at it, motherfuckers done had their turn already. Lisa Ray and them was doing their thing. I'm not saying that they was on some fucking niggas type shit. I'm not. I'm just saying the it factor, the it girls. It's always been it girls in every motherfucking decade. It's been an it girl. Going all down to Madam CJ walking on them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers was cutting up too now. Don't trust and believe it. You understand me? Motherfuckers been having their share of shit. Uh, uh, what, uh, Rita Franklin was probably one of the ones that was doing it. In, you know what I'm saying? In her in her motherfucking click. You know what I mean? Look at what the fuck she was singing about. You know what I mean? So she was probably one of the ones that was letting niggas know back then too what time it was. And niggas really like big ass titties and shit too. Yeah, she was in a gang back in the day. Back in back in that era. She was a cold one. You know, so this shit is some, this some, this gonna, it's gonna be some motherfuckers after you. You know what I'm saying? But the cold part about it is this. 
you have to make your money start working for you now, mama. Because now the turn up is starting to turn down a little bit. The shit is starting, you know, the, all that all that sparkle and all that, oh, who is that and who is she? And damn, all that shit is starting to die down a little bit on you. So, what you need to do, being that you still got a husband, you going because see, one thing, that one thing that's cool about it, you got a husband, mama. You got a motherfucking husband. That at the end of the day, this nigga got some motherfucking payments to make. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the motherfucker, that's what separates the baby mama shit from the wife shit. See, the baby mama, okay, you got 18 years or something coming. If the nigga start working up under the table, now you got to find this motherfucker to try to get your money. You know what I'm saying? But see, you ain't you ain't working with that type of nigga. You got you an industry nigga. You know what I'm saying? That got the ability to make money. So, which means you're going to always have some money. Plus, you the wife too. Nigga, that equals settlement at the end. That's what the fuck that equal. That's called settlement at the end. And, f and first of all, he got more than what you got. You in California. We going up under they motherfucking g g uh, rules and sh Mama, you straight. But what you need to be doing is saying fuck, to, fuck it to the mansions and shit. Get your motherfucking ass down in the Encino, Culver City or some motherfucking where. Marina Del Rey some motherfucking where. That you can afford to pay that shit when all this shit is over and done. Okay, when all this shit done washed up and all this whole type of motherfucking shit. Now, I ain't got no homeowners association. I ain't got all these mellow ruses and all these taxes and all these different things. When you're living in living in uh, in um, subdivisions and when you're living in gated communities and stuff, you have to pay for all that shit. You know, and see, right now, you got the money to do that right now. But in 10 years from now, when motherfuckers ain't finding all that shit hot no more, then therefore now... These motherfuckers really want me to pay for their goddamn pool. I already got one. These motherfuckers really want me to pay all this shit every month for this right here. Nigga, fuck that. When does this shit stop? You know what I mean? Because now, now all of your money is starting to count for something. Now you're starting to look at money a little bit differently. Now, instead of just getting to the gas station talking about fill this motherfucker up on that 91, now you talking about, well, you know what? How much is up to? Yeah. All that old type of shit. Because all of that shit is going to happen at some point in time. But the thing is, you got to prepare for that, though. You have to prepare for that. You still marketable. Niggas still want to see what that do after you done with this motherfucker. Or why y'all still moonlighting or whatever. Or y'all probably got to understand it with. Okay, check this out. You can fuck them bitches over there. And then just in case I decide to suck on a little pussy or get ride on a little dick or something. It's going to be all right with you. Okay, then whatever. But apparently, y'all got that understanding. You know, so, hey, whatever's clever, I ain't in your marriage, I ain't in your business, you know what I'm saying? Whatever works, you know what I mean? Some of that has worked for some of us, you know? Whatever the get out is, that's your marriage, mama, and I'm damn sure not one of them ones say, fuck him, that you ain't gonna hear that from me. You, that's one thing about me, I ain't gonna never tell another motherfucking woman how she need to leave her dude, because that ain't none of my business right there. I don't carry those same feelings that you carry. I done been there and done, done that. I done had those type of feelings for my husband, for niggas that I was fucking with. So I already know that it's not that easy when you the one that's holding those bags of feelings. You know what I'm saying? But then your girlfriends on the other hand, they ain't got what you got or they really wanting what you got or, you know, or whatever the case. And they, them the motherfucking girl, fuck him. Tell that nigga, nah, why you answer the phone, bitch? You said you wasn't going to answer the phone. You said you wasn't going to go over there. You said you wasn't going to get that nigga no pussy. So why you do all that, bitch? You dumb. See, nah, you don't want them kind of partners, mama. You don't want them kind of girls. You want some seasoned vets in your motherfucking life that's going to say, hey, girl, look, hey, go ahead on and do that. You're going to get tired. When you get tired of that bullshit, ain't nothing that nigga can come with at that point in time. You're going to be like, nigga, dust, nigga, whatever, nigga. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. See, that's me. Okay. I'm one of them motherfuckers. Oh, all right, nigga. Oh, okay, man. No problem. Go ahead on. Go do your thing. Do it till you satisfied. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm that motherfucker. That's when you get to a point when you already know the power of your pussy. You already know what you can do to this motherfucker. You can get this nigga cliff bound. So it's like, you know what, nigga, okay, you finna go to, oh, no problem. Go ahead on, go, go. Why you always trying to get me to go home? Why you always trying to tell me going with my friend? How come, what makes you think I want to go hang with them niggas? I don't want to go hang with them niggas this time. How come I can't sit up here and eat? That's, that's what end up happening. When you tell them niggas, okay, go ahead, go! 
Damn, go. Nigga, you better put that shirt on, nigga, and go. That fuck him up. You want to fuck a nigga head up? Tell that nigga to go and go with his friends. He ain't going to understand. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. All this time, I can't even go play ball without your motherfucking ass. Uh, my shit ringing off on the sideline and shit. Now, all of a sudden, you telling me to go? Girls, you t tell that nigga to go and watch what's happening. Tell that nigga to go, okay? Go and go do that and see what the fuck going to happen. Okay? After in the beginning, he gonna be like, wait a minute, hold on. What the fuck? Yeah, he gonna be on one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go! Yeah. Especially when the voice go out like that. And nigga don't know what to expect. Then you done fucked him up. Voice done left a little bit. Oh my god. She really trying to do something to me. Listen, Amber, look, girl, let me tell you some side note and shit. My motherfucking period just went off, right? This nigga, but that let you know when you one of those girls that have that thing going, you know, niggas do not leave you alone. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's fun though, ain't it? It's so motherfucking fun. Oh my God. Girl, I'm still having fun with this motherfucking shit. But you know, I got to keep shit in perspective because I got a 16 year old daughter. You know what I mean? And my daughter, you know, contrary to what I might think that she don't hear what she ain't coming up on, she still got, you know what I'm saying? She know what time it is. She part of me. You know what I mean? But... The cold part about it is, girl, oh, my God, it gets better, mama. It gets better, girl. Amber, it gets better. Make this shit work for you, mama. Get some, make, make sure some of this shit is in your name. Get you in a... I, I know I was going to talk about my period and shit with this nigga and how this nigga thought I was on punishment and shit and, you know, put his ass on... But that nigga wants some pussy bad as a motherfucker. He was like, oh, why? Oh, how many days? Uh, when did it start? Is it in the beginning or the end? Uh, what does it look like? Is it a lot? Did you have to wear a tampon today? That nigga was asking me questions like he was a gynecologist like a motherfucker. I said, nigga, is this an annual motherfucker? Girl, that motherfucker was like, shit, that nigga was trying to shit. Well, I was just trying to figure out if I need to roll a towel up and put it up on your ass or something. Nigga, if you don't knock it off, that nigga, he stick, girl, that motherfucker, he wanted some pussy that motherfucker bad. That nigga did not believe that I was really on my period, you know? That nigga went down there and was ready to gnaw on that motherfucker and fucked around and ran into that rope. That nigga said, uh-oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it is going on, but shit, I'm going to go ahead. If I just lick the clip, the, that, that don't do nothing with that. I said, you know what, nigga? Yeah, that's when you know that you wanted him. You know what I mean? When you wanted him, it, girl, them niggas don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Them niggas just be trying to, look, can I just do anything? Can I be in your life in any kind of way or shape or form? Can I give you my mama number, my daddy number, my social security number? Here's my old address where I used to stay. Yeah. Look. Enjoy this ride, mama. It don't do nothing but get better. But keep this shit in perspective. Look at these niggas that's merely passing your pebble of progress. You understand me? So... Have fun with it. Get some shit that you, that you can say this is mine in case when you got to split hairs with your hubby and whatever and you taking your son and you getting on, don't have no outstanding debt to where it's going to fuck you up where you can still be that it girl in your 40s. You're going to still be a fabulous bitch because once you're one, you're always going to be one and it's always in your DNA. Once you go and get that one, see, the um one thing about... um. Those, when you start getting cosmetic surgeries, for the girls that don't know nothing about that life, I'm just putting you up on something. Once you become to get that disposable income to where you can either fix it or cover it up and you one of them fix it girls, it's like the boob job is like the beginning package. That's like a starter kit. You know, it's like when I get my boobs to sit up like I want them to, that's like a starter kit, if you will. That's like the baby package. That's like the... I mean, that's, nigga, that's the trial, that's the trial kit, you know what I mean? Then you start getting the tummy tucks, and you start getting the lipo, and you start getting the pulls and nips and lifts and this and that. You know, it, you, you're always going to be that girl. You're always going to be it, because it's, it's merely a law of attraction. What you call into your life, and what you believe you are, and how you do business, you're always going to be that. You just become more fabulous with it when you have motherfuckers on your path that, you know, help you along the way. And I'm just that girl. I'm just that girl. I don't want nothing from you, mama. I, I love you from afar, and I wish nothing for the best for you and for your son. I hope that you have fun 
Turn the shit all the way up how you want to do it, but keep it in perspective because now you are a mother. Put some money and shit to the side so then therefore when you reach that next decade in your 40s, when you get up there where I'm at, you could still be having that same green, that same motherfucking smile because why? You're not stressed out. I'm not stressed out with the regular everyday living things. You know, there's women right now stressed out, like, making really decisions like, okay, well, am I going to pay the this this month or am I going to pay the this this month? Or, you know, it's women that's out here really making, you know what I mean? And I can understand their anger. I can understand their hatred for girls like us. I can understand why they don't even dig us or understand us. Because a lot of time you can only react and respond to the level of your vision. If that's all you see is strife and all you see is I'm going through this and I'm going through that and I ain't going to never have. And this, that's what you call it in your life. You don't want to do that. You want to dream. You know, you want you want to call things into your life that you want. It's a beautiful world out here, man. It's so fun. It is so fun. I've traveled. I've seen so many things in this lifetime. Oh, my God. If God took me away today, or if I had, got, God forbid, if I ended up, you know, um, the whereas, you know, I'm, I'm disabled and I can't do the things that I do anymore, you know, of course it's going to be, you know, a blow to me because it's something new that has, you know, entered into my past. But, you know, after... The initial shock, and I look back at it, like, you know what, God? You have shown me so much in my life. You have brought so much into my path, and I was I was swerving, and I was moving through my path, you know? And I was having such a good time. I met so many cool-ass people. I got some of the best doctors in the land. I've done some of the coolest shit. I drive one of the coolest cars, you know? And I'm just having fun. Girl, have fun, mama. Have fun. These niggas is going to do them niggas. Let them have their argument. That's their beef. Don't even get in it. Let them niggas do them niggas. On that note, Amber, I love you, girl, and I love you for watching. Come back and get what you need when you need it. Talk to you soon, girl. Love you. Deuces. Bye-bye for now.